Hey guys, over the last few days, I've gotten so many messages regarding George Lucas buying Lucasfilm and Disney selling it because they're in like a huge, massive problem in buying Hulu and then uh, Comcast wants them to pay up or something and all this stuff. And all of this comes from a rumored video from Doomcock. Just uh, love saying that name, Doomcock. Cook. Anyways, uh, I watched about 11 minutes or so up until about like here. And here's the basic rundown, man. It's it's it it's basically that Disney is under a huge amount of stress, financial stress, and they're going to have to liquidate a lot of their assets and that including being Lucasfilm and Doomcock is claiming that one of his walk-in leakers or something like like a walk-in source uh, which he specifically says you have to take with not a grain of salt, but a s teaspoon of salt. And whenever someone says that, you know, I'm always like, well, okay. But then again, maybe he just doesn't know leaks. I've had my leaks, but then again, maybe he doesn't know the, you know, legitimacy of, you know, the leaker. It might be a new guy or something like that. But what I think is, you know, and I've had my share of leakers, dude, like over the years. You have no idea the things that I've never even told you guys because I didn't want to get people in trouble who actually work at Lucasfilm and Disney. And which, if you've noticed a shift in my de demeanor, it's primarily a lot of it is because of the inside information that I have that I do not talk about. But anyways, back to this video. The thing with leaks is that, you know, they can be really finicky in a sense because you don't really know the source. And while a lot of it may sound like it's true, it may sound legit, at the end of the day, you aren't 100% sure. It could be someone that's bringing in a whole bunch of true information and then adding in a bunch of information that <clears throat> they're making up. And then you tell the person, they tell the person, and then they may be telling, you know, me or Doomcock or somebody else who will report on it. And as, you know, being a Star Wars fan, it's going to be a, a big deal. But you can never be sure of their legitimacy. And this is something that I've learned. And so anyways, in this video here from Doomcock, he's essentially saying that Disney is in so much financial trouble that they're going to sell Lucasfilm back to George Lucas. And this is something that happened with Power Rangers, where Power Rangers was sold for about $5 billion from the creator to Disney. And then it was like 10 years later, it was worth $60 million. Uh, the gentleman was saying here who then the owner bought Power Rangers back for 60 mil, which was a hell of a discount, I quote. And so the premise of this video, at least up until the 11, 12 minutes that I watched, it's a 40 minute video, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. So you guys can you know, fill me in on anything that I may have missed, which might be actual and important information here. However, they're basically saying that and theorizing that George Lucas was playing 4D chess, literally Palpatine, literally the emperor, like, being 50 moves ahead and saying that, hey, you know, he sold Lucasfilm because of the prequel trilogy backlash and all the bullying that he got and the hate. So then he sold it to Disney for $4 billion and he knew what would happen in about 10 years time, which is roughly around now. It's now 11 years. And then Disney would have to sell it back to him for a much discounted price. So in a profit, he would make, you know, a couple billion dollars maybe. Um, we'll see, you know, considering if Star Wars is worth as much as it was when George sold it or if he can come up with something with lawyers saying that maybe, you know, they've tarnished the brand, it's not the same as it used to be, he has to do a lot of cleanup work, and this and that. Now, the thing that I think um, these uh, guys are, are missing here is the fact that George mostly got paid in stock options. I think it was maybe 50-50 or even more than that in Disney stock. So this is not great for this leak because if Disney plummets, then George's stock plummets and his $4 billion ain't worth $4 billion anymore. Unless it was $4 billion with stock options, but that's not the impression that I was given. It was $4 billion total, which means that, you know, whatever, let's say $2 billion of it was cash and then $2 billion in stock options or something like that. $2 billion worth in the stock options. Overall, what do I think? Do I think Lucasfilm is going to be sold? Potentially, it's possible. I mean, I know they're feeling the heat, and this is from a lot of the stuff that I hear as well. They're definitely feeling the heat and the pressure that a lot of the things they're making really aren't performing as well as they had hoped, especially their sequel trilogy stuff. However, that being said, for them to have to sell Lucasfilm, I really don't see that happening. Um, Disney has so many things that they can let go of to free up a lot of their money. Lucasfilm being really one of the only things, including Marvel, to bring back the money that they're losing is probably the last thing on their mind to sell. Now, for Disney to go ahead and want to sell it back to George Lucas, I really don't think George is interested anymore. 
You know, 10 years ago, he was saying that he was getting too old and he was not into continuing Star Wars because he wanted to spend the next t 10 years, you know, with his daughter and with his kids and with his life and enjoying life. And now he just makes probably million dollar movies for him and his friends. Also, another thing that I don't think is being incorporated into this uh, rumor or leak or whatever it may be that Doomcock is talking about is that in Bob Iger's biography book, it was stated how he actually sold Lucasfilm to Disney. And it was literally by closing down the park. I think it was downtown Disney or something like that. And he invited George there for like lunch. And it was just him and George. And they spoke about a lot of different things. And one of the things Bob Iger mentioned, he said, you know, what happens when, you know, you pass away? You're, you don't have any heirs. Uh, what's look at what's going to happen with Lucasfilm? And George was then like, oh, well, are you wanting to buy it? Is Disney interested? And Bob Iger's like, yes. And then, you know, the rest is really history. It was back and forth. The deal fell through a bunch of times and George wanted more control. And then Bob said, look, you can't sell your company and then expect to have full control of it. That's just not how this works, George. And, you know, George had a really tough time with everything. So he eventually, you know, sold it. So there are a lot of factors. The fact that George has stock in Disney you know, billions of dollars of stock in Disney, as well as the fact that he wanted to move on. He was already creating the sequel trilogy, and this is something people don't really know. But you have to read the books. You got to read Star Wars Archives by Paul Duncan. You got to know all this stuff to really understand what was going on behind the scenes. And I'm telling you, George was making Episode 7. He had already spoken to cast and crew. He was already on board with it. Harry, Harrison... Mark, they all knew about it, and they were ready to roll. So with all of these things factored in, I don't really think George Lucas would buy Lucasfilm. And I, I don't even think Disney would want to sell the one thing that could make them the most money back with, you know, after Marvel. Probably, I, I bet Marvel probably makes them more money, probably because they focus more on it and they have better writers for it and people who are actually, like, understanding Marvel. If this were to happen, oh my God, being happy would be an understatement. I'd be in absolute tears. It, it just seems too good to be true. And man, I, I wish Doomcock is right. I hope his leaker is real. I hope all of it is real. I hope these guys are, are bringing us information that, you know, is really accurate. You know, as the Lord is my witness, uh, I, I hope that this happens. I pray to God. You know, there's nothing more than I, I want to happen uh, when it comes to Star Wars is for George to own Lucasfilm again. I don't think Disney knows what they're doing. I think they're completely out of touch. I think they're hell-bent on agendas, and I don't think they want to honor George's legacy or anything that he had to do with Star Wars, as we can clearly see with all of their projects and previous projects with the sequel trilogy. And if you deny that, then I really feel like you are living in a clown world, like a delusional world where you just really fail to want to see everything literally in front of you, from the actors themselves to the people behind the scenes, to George Lucas, to the Kathleen Kennedy, the things she said, things she's lied about, and everyone else that's worked on Star Wars since the acquisition that Disney had from Lucasfilm. You know, just thinking about it, it has me tickled pink. What? As they would say, I'd be thrown a live stream, man. I think there would be so many of us, and we we would have we would just be over the moon. You know, it would really be the return of the Jedi. And uh, right now, I feel like we're kind of in in the Empire Strikes Back. A little bit or we're not even we're like in revenge of the sith or something it just you know it doesn't doesn't feel right i think the only person keeping lucasfilm still star wars is dave filoni and i think everyone else there um should really listen to him as much as possible many of you have asked me what do i think about this rumor this is what i think about this rumor i don't think it's true i don't think there's any way in hell that george lucas would be buying lucasfilm again uh and i don't think that disney would ever sell lucasfilm there's so many ifs here and you have to ask yourself you know with all of the things like the stock options and george not wanting to be a part of it anymore but and maybe he, maybe he's changed maybe he's like holy crap i made a mistake and we know he did we know he said he did we know he was hurt over it. He's not at the premieres. He doesn't care anymore. His whole candor, everything that he said in little, like I've posted them, man, I've reacted to them. He's fed up, dude. He's like, look, they don't want me involved anymore. It's it's not mine anymore. But the first six are mine. And so it, it's very possible that he did change his mind, uh, for sure. I don't doubt that. However, I, I want to be pragmatic and I want to be realistic that, look, like something like that happening would be so far-fetched and so unbelievably crazy that I almost feel like it's it's like watching the movie uh, Girl Next Door. For this to happen, George Lucas to buy Star Wars again, I mean, he's like 80 now. Actually, how old is George? 
Yeah, dude, he's he's 79 years old. I just don't know if this is something that is even plausible to be a theory. And look, I mean, this is not my source. I don't know the legitimacy. I don't know how real it is. I, I don't know the background information of who it was and all of the other things that come into play here. I, I'm very skeptical to think that George Lucas would come back and buy Star Wars. And even you know, there's so many variables, like I said, to sell Lucasfilm. George has stock in Disney to buy Lucasfilm. He didn't want it, you know, 10 years ago. What makes him want it now? On the other hand, he could very well have seen the last 10 or so years under Disney's rule and be like, oh my God, they absolutely butchered everything. And like I said before, I know people who know him and I know people who know people who know him. And they all say the same thing about stuff uh, regarding what he thinks uh, on what's going on for the most part. I know he liked a few of the other projects, especially the ones Dave worked on. And we now have information that he liked Rogue One because of Tony Gilroy talking about it. But beyond that, I, I know what he thinks of 8 and 9. You can even see it in the way he speaks when he talks about it. And if you can't, well, then, you know, del delusional. So anyways, that's what I think about George Lucas buying Lucasfilm. Do I want it to happen? I think everyone knows on the internet that I am the person that would want that to happen. Will it happen? Extremely unlikely. I don't think so. You always got to have hope, right? But anyways, let me know what you think. Do you want George Lucas to buy Lucasfilm again and continue Star Wars? I mean, he's 79 years old. Maybe he's ready now. Maybe he needs to take a break. You know, people sometimes got to break up and 10 years later, they'll end up together. Look at JLo and Ben Affleck. They look happy. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one.